At the environmental justice program, you may have heard us talk about Laudato Si. But what exactly is Laudato Si and why do we stress its importance in our work? Hopefully, this video answers all of your questions regarding Laudato Si, Catholic Charities, and our environmental justice program. Catholic Charities has been serving underprivileged communities in the United States since the year of 1910. Because of the popularity of Catholicism in the United States, there were over 800 Catholic institutions back then dedicated to the care of children, the elderly, the sick, and the disabled. It wasn't until the organization of all the various dioceses were they able to officially become recognized as a national organization. Nowadays, there are roughly 160 different office locations, making that nearly one per diocese. Today our programs stretch to many different disadvantaged groups who seek our assistance. These programs include housing assistance, nutrient assistance, immigration services, veteran services, mental health services, healthcare access, environmental justice, and more. Environmental justice is a recognition that communities of color have historically been located in areas of high pollution. This can be showcased through processes such as redlining and the placement of factories and other industrial buildings near communities of primarily African American, Latino, or Asian ethnicity. The Diocese of Stockton saw the need for an environmental justice program because of the high amount of pollution that affects low-income families in the Central Valley. Since 2005, our program has been at the forefront of assessing pollution hazards, organizing affected communities, and advocating for environmental justice policy. In 2015, Pope Francis propagated Laudato Si. This encyclical addresses the mismanagement of the planet's resources and the potential risks that climate change poses to humanity. Many Catholics around the world rejoiced when this document was released because of the much needed response to climate change from faith organizations as expressed by Pope John Paul II. Translated to Praise Be To You, Laudato Si takes its title from St. Francis of Assisi's Canticle of the Sun, which is a song made famous by St. Francis who addressed the planet as Sister Mother Earth and embraces water, fire, and wind as brothers and sisters to mankind and stresses how important each of these elements are to providing sustenance to the creatures of Earth. The theological idea of all living organisms on Earth being interconnected with humanity is an idea that has been popularized in many religious traditions around the world. Pope Francis chose to title his encyclical on the subject of climate change after the Canticle of the Sun to show that Catholics have embraced the idea of creating an integral ecology since the early ages of Christianity. Humanity was never given the right to drain the planet of its resources for personal gain. To abuse and mistreat our planet is to undermine the envelope of God, the earth on which all of life as we know it depends. Pollution and overconsumption is not a problem within itself, but symptoms of a far more serious disconnect within the values of humanity. Pope Francis' entire image for the church is one of service and poverty. The Pope's real name is Jorge Mario Bergoglio. When he was elected as Pope, he took the name of Francis after St. Francis of Assisi in reverence for his dedication to poverty and service to God. The Order of the Friar Minor or the Franciscans are a group of Catholic monks who dedicate their lives to poverty as their founder St. Francis did during his lifetime. Projecting a life of wealth, St. Francis seeked a deeper understanding of life by spending time with the poorest of the poor and serving those most in need. He taught that the true value of life comes from the relationship between humanity and the rest of God's creatures, and that seeking a life of wealth, honor, pleasure, or power is based on a false sense of happiness from materialistic or worldly values. Pope Francis embodies the entirety of this theology by his rejection of wealth and outspokenness for the care of our common home, planet Earth. I'm not Catholic, so why should I care about Laudato Si? Laudato Si is not written directly for Catholics, but the whole of the human family. Laudato Si quotes real scientists and acknowledges that the resources of Earth should be distributed equitably for all. Climate change sounds scary, but is there actual proof that it exists? The consensus of the most serious scientists practicing today will acknowledge human-caused climate change as the biggest threat currently facing humanity. A study conducted at the University of Hawaii at Manoa 
concludes that a sixth mass extinction event is likely to occur due to biodiversity loss. If big companies won't try to stop climate change, why should I? The fossil fuel industry spends an enormous amount of money trying to convince the public that we need oil to fuel our modern society. But this is not true. Clean energy technology has improved drastically in the 21st century. The technology needed to create a clean energy future already exists. We just need the support of the public to advocate for its implementation. What are some other organizations doing work to stop climate change? There are lots of great organizations doing work in this field, including the Faith for Earth Initiative, Interfaith Power and Light, Catholic Climate Covenant, the Laudato Sea Movement, World Wildlife Fund for Nature, and many more. How do I get my parish involved with supporting Laudato C? If you want to bring Laudato C to life in your own community, start by talking with your priest or local Catholic Charities office. Express the need for an environmental justice program and tell them about the pollution sources in your neighborhood. We can all make a difference if we work together. Contact us to learn more about starting your own environmental justice program.